This is my replication of Laser Saber's Dual Looper. And I ran into a few problems which I'll explain as the as the thing runs, but it does run. Um, but basically what it was was you know this uh, connection here of the blue that goes about round to the top and it's supposed to go to a metal bolt. Well I'm using this kind of a coil here, uh, which is out of an old TV, and of course there's no bolt to go through the middle. But this system is a lot smaller too than his, um, and he said that he had troubles running his uh, smaller coil. Well, I've got the five LEDs over here, a 4,700 UF capacitor, and a 3.6 volt old cell phone battery. Here's the clock. So what we'll do, wait till we get to the top, and all I'm going to do is to touch the positive connection. So I'll just tap that like that, and you see the lights are on. Uh, what I've got is I've used 30 gauge wire and this here which is, what is that, 22, something like that, 24 maybe. And um, what I've done is I've wound the one, the one lot around the inside with the copper as well attached. And that's 18 turns and 350 turns of the 30 gauge and then another 18 on the outside of the same gauge of wire of this stuff here. So, uh, let's see where the clock's at there, and what I'll do is I'll turn the light off, and uh, we'll see how long this runs for, and it should be a couple of minutes just on that tap, so you can hear the clock going in the background anyway. So, there we are with the lights showing. They're actually a little clearer to see, uh, well they're brighter on the screen here, but they are a bit easier to see with the naked eye, but uh, remember this is just a tap onto the circuit and uh, and it's running away like this so I'll explain what I've changed um, I'll put a drawing or something at the end of this video but basically what I did was I swapped the leads over the one that's supposed to go to the top with the other one and now uh, I forget which way around they are but one of them goes to the negative of the diodes which are actually germanium diodes and the other connection, I mean, she'll have to find out what I did. I tried all sorts of things, and then it just started up like this. So, uh, oh, the other one I think goes to the positive. Well, we're still running, you can hear the clock ticking in the background there. And we'll just see how long this goes for. As I say, it's, uh, it was a couple of minutes before, just off a tap. And they are fading off now, but they are, all five are still lit up. I'm going to say it's a bit easier to see with the naked eye. I've got the angles, you see, with the where we are with the camera. But they're still going. It is a very impressive little uh, Akula type coil. I believe it's the Akula that it's, it's based on. I've seen this copper, and um, it's a full winding of the copper around. And I thought you had to leave a small gap. But uh, anyway, it's a full turnaround, and then the uh, soldered connections. They're still running. They're getting a bit dim now, but they're still on. I should have got a radio on it, really, AM radio, see if we could get uh, the frequency picked up. And they're still on. Let's see how far we can get these things but going, but uh, maybe my change will help other people who are replicating. Still going. Fading away, but the circuit's still running. It's a C1815 transistor. It's just the Y variant as well. It's not even uh, the GR or what have you. Just about still on. Well, you can call it a day, really, I guess, but uh, still running. And that's about it, I think. Right, so I'll put the light back on. Okay, and uh, there's the clock now. And that was just one tap on that battery. Okay, thanks for watching.